and welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, in our previous two video, I have shown you that how we'll analysis our beam for concentrated load and for uniformly distributed load. So, in this video, I have told you that our analysis for uniformly varying load and I'll use our previous model, I mean previous beam, for analysis that. So if you're new here, you're welcome to my series and also you have to watch my previous two video to learn about that, I think, and uh, you know about that, how to analyze it, it's okay for you. And there have many videos about Estate Pro and EDAPS in this channel and also several videos for another video. I think that will be helpful for you. So let's start. First of all, I'll open Estate Pro and then I'll go for Beam Analysis and design that is our previous model I'll click here that is a previous model so first of all I'll go here load base and plus I'll delete that uniform distributed load so after that I'll go here add and from here I'll select member load after that I'll use here linear varying load here linear varying load trapezoidal load I will use the two options so linear varying load for linear varying load it's showing that you will be able to assign load for from a starting to end suppose we, we have considered that the load our first point a starting load are 0 and our last point a starting load are 5k per feet then I'll add and for that option this is the option second option for W3 it's showing that uh, from first point it will be 0 and for last point it will be 0 and the middle point it will be maximum so suppose it's also 5 sorry it should be minus minus 5 add and we have to change that it also should be minus 5 it's minus 5 for global y change close that so first of all I will assign that load that are that load for Here I'll select that, I'll select that load and I'll assign to select it. Assign, yes. There's the load for the first point will be 0 and last point will be 5 cube. So here is our load. For that load, I'll go here, the command, analysis, point analysis, no print, OK. And go analysis save and here is the analysis there are no error uh, it's showing warning because I have used that value for six time that's why it's showing warning and go post post processing mode and then done after that go OK after here you have to go here click reaction and you will find the value for hair reaction and hair reaction hair reaction is 8.33 and hair reaction is the 16.667 and if we calculate that it will also found that value after that I'll click here for share force diagram so I click here we're seeing that here is our shared force diagram I can click here and click for MZ 
it showing very not so clear so we have to press ctrl and scroll your mouse here is our BMD diagram in that way we can do our analysis again I'll go here modeling I'll go here load I'll go here load case load case 1 and I will delete that load and I will assign that load on our building that load so that the first point and last point will be 0 and middle point will be 5 k load so assign to view assign assign here yeah, you are seeing that the all load first of all it's increase then decrease this is the uniformly varying load so again we'll go here command analysis perform analysis no print okay then we'll go here analysis run analysis and save so they have no error we'll go here go to post processing mode then done click ok so from here we can see our diff displacement control and press uh, I mean scroll your mouse scrolling button after that we'll go reaction and here we are seeing that in left side and right side both are 12.5 into 12.5 after that we'll go here for share force it's showing the diagram like that and we'll go for bending moment diagram here and that control so it's done and uh, use beam cursor and we can double click on it from here you can see the property of our beam and loading group of here and here are share bending for bending it's for bending and that is for our share you can find for approximate distance for approximate distance you can find the approximate value for it okay after that after that analysis again we'll go model and here load base here I'll delete that and again add load and we'll use member loading and for here trapezoidal load so from trapezoidal load we are able to use uniformly varying load or uniformly distributed load by using that so this is a good tools by using that we can also use at the same time uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load suppose this is the d1 represent the distance from that point the starting point of load or uniformly distributed into varying load and d2 represent the in point of uniformly distributed load suppose our distributed load will start from 0 feet distance and it will end at 5 feet distance and our first point load will be 0 and our last point load would be 2 and it will be minus 2 so zy as previous add and close that and press it and assign to view yes here you are seeing that the load as like as our previous model again I will delete that after that add load 
and uh, member load trapezoidal load after trapezoidal load suppose now we have used load and d1 will be the middle point 5 and d2 will be last point I mean 10 and after that our that point will be maximum load suppose 2 and that point last point will be 0 it will be minus 2 and it will be global axis y at cos and select that by using beam cursor select that and assign to selected beam assign yes you are seeing that here is the our load and also delete that also we can add uniformly distributed load by using sorry here trapezoidal trapezoidal we can use suppose uh, we'll use our first point will be a start from 2 and last point will be 8 and our first point load will be 5 and our last point load will be 5 so minus 5 and minus 5 by using that tool add clause select that and assign to view by using that tool see you can also apply uniformly distributed load for that and you can analyze this like that way if you think that that is helpful for you you can press like button so that I can understand that is really helpful for you so thank you thank you very much let's do it let's connect it